want to consider Arroyo's discussion of remixing, which illuminates writing processes more easily than editing written work, as students can better sense the immediate effects of their remixing than through similar reworking of traditional texts. Hobbiter's two-movie sequence assignment inspired the video you're about to experience. I want to show through my own project how the same material can be put to different rhetorical use. So in this second video, I'm working with the idea of an audiovisual grammar. I was working with punctuation, which you can see in the cuts to black, and they try and create some kind of pause between clips. And I also wanted to work with parallel structure and having all the video kind of have the same movement. We start out close and then move out. In the next video, I'm going to be working with that parallel structure to try and create a different type of representation or argument for what is my root. One thing you may have noticed by now is that we removed one entire video clip from these two edits from the original, that and the panning shot across the shelf full of video games. And also you'll notice that now that I've disrupted the parallel structure of having shots from close up moving out, and instead having out moving in, out moving in, that that final shot with the bell toll sound makes a lot more grammatical sense. We're going to return to the theme that we removed by removing that shot of the panning video game faces by introducing new video that'll give us an origin to those sounds that underlie the two edits we've made so far to kind of bring together my room and the experiences I have there in the digital world. this final video, perhaps the metaphor that I'm making between my actual room and the digital experiences in my room makes a little more sense because in the first few videos I just had the sounds without the accompanying images and videos. But I'm still left with a messy product, an unfinished product that Hubbard has said we need to leave our students with at the end of the semester or quarter so that writing is demonstrated as an ongoing process. I need to be left with these things that aren't clean or aren't viewed as clean in order to then produce outside the classroom.